<clears throat> Why did I choose design engineering at Imperial College? I, since I was really young, actually, I always wanted to go to Cambridge. Cambridge was like my number one kind of university. I always thought about it. I think the, one of the main reasons for that was because it was pretty much the only university that I knew that was a really good university. I hadn't quite heard of Imperial, so, I, so Cambridge was kind of like my ambition. Um, growing up, I guess I was, you know, I quite liked academics and um, I found myself really enjoying things like maths, uh, you know, analytical, critical thinking, um, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so that basically got me into Imperial. But how did I choose? How did I decide whether I wanted to go to Imperial College London to do design engineering? Whether I wanted to go to what could be considered a more prestigious university, Cambridge University, or maybe a more arty university, say, um, or a degree with a bit more freedom, a bit more, um, which we do get freedom in Imperial as well, but what I mean is maybe a bit more kind of on the arty side, and a bit more creative side. Um, and so I had to kind of weigh uh, a few kind of things. I would say, in the end, I wanted to go to you know, a university where I'll get a good education, yes, but for me, the most important thing was, is the course right for my abilities, for what I feel passionate about, for what I feel, um, yeah, where I feel like I can challenge myself as well, the most, and learn the most, and that will open up the most doors for me. So for me, it wasn't so important about the prestige. I'm not really, I wasn't really into that, I'd, I'd say. Um, so therefore, that helped me not want to go to Cambridge just for the prestige, you know? Uh, so I looked into the courses, so I looked at the engineering at Cambridge, and I was like, I know I want to do design engineering. So at Cambridge, basically, engineering starts off really broad. You have a lot of different engineering courses. Um, you have to learn a lot of different areas. And then you kind of narrow it down and you kind of learn your single one. I would say it's similar in design engineering as well. We learn a lot of things. You know, it's quite broad. Like our engineering understanding is quite broad and the design understanding is quite broad. Um, but it's, it's all focused on kind of designing still so it's all kind of focused on becoming a design engineer and uh, yeah I, I didn't exactly know how the course was but I had a general kind of idea okay you're combining design thinking with engineering you know creativity with this kind of analytical and technical thinking and I was like that is exactly what I want yeah, I love my creativity like I make I make and design these these bracelets for instance I love um, expressing uh, myself through kind of my designs um, but then I also really like things like maths you know critical thinking problem solving um, yeah and so I felt like this was the perfect combination the perfect course and I was also at you know world leading university so I was like why not um, people ha may have some worries, like um, one of my worries was, yeah, it's a really new course, how do I know it's going to be good, like they, they don't even have any graduates yet. Uh, this year they're having their first graduates, I believe, so we'll see what happens with them. Um, but I was like, pfft, I got over it, um, it wasn't a huge worry of mine. You know, you can think as well, like, okay, you're going to take some things from this course, but also, if it's a new course, and you think you have anything to add to this course, then you will have a greater impact now, I'd say, than, say, once the course is really well established. So if you think you can kind of contribute in any way, which they take, like, advice and, um, and uh, critiques, if you like, from every student, so there's something called a soul survey, where which they ask us what we think about each module, like how it can be improved and people, and they take what we say very seriously. So you could think it like that as well, like you're doing something good, something helpful. But of course, like 
um, don't worry, it's not just you helping them. They're always trying to help you. They're trying to make your education, I would say, the, you know, the, the best it, it possibly can. I would say they really do care, uh, at least a lot of them, which is really good. They're very understanding. Uh, again, a lot of the times, a lot of them. Um, and yeah, this is this is just a review. Like it's not in any way. Um, yeah, it's just a simple review. What I kind of feel and think about, of course. Mm. Yeah. If there's uh, any questions, if you have any questions, just leave them below in the comments, or you can, I don't know, try and find me. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.